What the fudge is up with these fudgesicles? Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna tell you. You guys know I'm gonna rip into your beloved fudgesicles so much you're gonna tell me to go fudge myself. Well, I don't fudge and care because you need to know this fudge and information. While you guys might believe that these are oh so innocent because they're 40 calories per serving and they're low fat and there's no sugar added, but guess what? They're still not so good for you. The non-fat milk used in this product is most likely not organic organic or grass-fed, which means there is a large potential that there are antibiotics and hormones in this product. Maltodextrin is also in these fudgesicles. Have you guys seen that word on labels everywhere these days? Well, maltodextrin is another form of fake sugar. It can sometimes be worse than having real sugar. The maltodextrin in this product comes from corn, and this corn is most likely genetically modified. Maltodextrin is also easily absorbed in your body, just like sugar. And while the FDA has deemed it safe, I mean, it's deemed high fructose corn syrup safe, there have been a lot of adverse effects to consuming maltodextrin. Some of them include allergic reactions, unexplained weight gain, bloating, and flatulence. Exactly, it's a fake sugar, guys, what do you expect? It can also cause specific allergic reactions such as rashes, asthma, itching, and difficulty breathing. Uh, try sucking down a couple of these and all of a sudden not being able to breathe. That doesn't sound like a fun summertime activity to me. Oh, and remember how I say these are no sugar added? Well, <laughs> what's polydextrose? Dextrose is sugar, so guess what? They added sugar. Like, this is nonsense. Ah! Oh, and just to let you know, the regular low-fat fudgesicles, yeah, they're filled with high fructose corn syrup and some other crap you really don't want to sink your teeth into. Plus, if you sink your teeth into these frozen things, you're gonna get brain freeze, duh. I really can't take these pseudo-health foods. Really, really annoying. Also, not to mention, there is aspartame in here, so if you avoid aspartame, yeah, you might want to avoid these too. Sorry, guys. Sorry to fudge and burst your fudge and bubble, but these are so terrible for you. However, I have created an alternative. Sayonara, you fudge and fudgesicle. What up, amazing fudgesicle that I made by myself? What? You see, you can make your own fudgesicles at home without having to risk consuming any of those fudging ingredients in those fudgesicles. So what exactly do I have here? Well, I have a mixture of Sun Warrior Warrior Blend Protein, because it's my favorite, unsweetened hemp milk, because, you know, I thought I'd give it a try, why not? And New Naturals sent me their new chocolate syrup. Sounds amazing to me because there's stevia added and you guys all know I love stevia. What was also pretty cool is I was wandering through the grocery store, because it's one of my favorite pastimes, just saying, and I found these push pop contraptions. Hello, Universe wanted me to make some fudgesicles, obviously. But of course, if you guys make these at home, you don't need to use these push pop contraptions. You can easily use little cups and put sticks in them, or you can use ice cube trays. But I happen to use these push pop things, because they're really cool. Wow. <laughs> Oh, did that look really dirty? So to be honest, I randomly just came up with this recipe off the top of my head. So I have never really actually tried it. So we're gonna try it right now, okay? Oh my gosh. I fudging love these, I fudging love these. So not only are these sugar-free and vegan, but they're also high in protein because of the protein powder, and they're also high in healthy fats thanks to the hemp milk. What are you waiting for? Go make these, freeze them immediately, and you are gonna be so happy and you're gonna thank me, just saying. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I need to finish eating this, so I gotta go. But thank you guys so much for watching. All the ingredients with the proper measurements are listed below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because who knows what amazing, genius ideas I'm gonna come up with next. I mean, really, really, guys, really. I don't even like chocolate, but this is awesome. Oh.